Well, hello. Thanks for stopping by, Dude RV. I'm out running around in Miss V. I'm actually headed home. But I, I, I was driving up through Alvarado and I just had to stop and take a look at the Nexus Wraith. Now, we're still in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and RVs are getting hard to come by. But the motorhome specialists here in Alvarado, they got quite a few of the Nexus Super C's. And, and we kind of been talking about it, so I thought I'd check it out, bring you along with me. This is the 33W. I really like that gold. The one thing about the Wraith that compared to the Ghost that I'm not a fan of. All right, so we've got all these outdoor compartments, but they, the doors raise up, whereas on the Ghost, they open sideways. So it's easier to get in them. But the Wraith is, entry level and inside oh, 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 look at that the opposing slides man look at all that room you know do, do some dancing in here all kinds of space up here in this cab now this does not have an air brake system it's, it's an entry level, so it's got uh, typical standard hydraulic brakes. Does have power seats, so you can get super comfortable, and the steering wheel adjusts up and down, back and forth. It's got a big bunk over the cab, a dinette that converts into a bed, and it should be a pretty simple conversion. And I like the locking drawers. They're not real deep though. We have a jackknife sofa. Or is it a triple fold? Oven and cooktop bacon and eggs, baby! Gotta have some bacon and eggs. We got a Frigidaire microwave convection. Yeah, it may not be convection, it may just be a microwave. But you do have an oven propane fired oven hearts they're not hard surface countertops I think it's a laminate I don't know where the light switches are I don't know how to turn on the lights actually this is not the floor plan that we're interested in. two way power three way power refrigerator I like that I like that a lot this is a queen master does not have a they use a CPAP machine and there's not a whole lot of room for the CPAP ample space in the wardrobe do we have under I don't know if we've got under under bed storage or not Very interesting. I'm going to walk across a lot here, show you the, the, the floor plan that we're really interested in. But it's in the, that we, this is the ghost, but it's the same floor plan. They don't have a wraith in this bunk model floor plan. It's a 36 DS in the ghost and the ghost is nice man i like it it's just got the recliner i don't know where the light switches are in this one either see this one has air brakes so it's it's nice and open right there 
same kind of sofa dinette and then a residential fridge so I'm not, I'm not just a real big fan of the residential fridge and that one doesn't I don't see a lock a lot of space in there but a whole lot of food in that one bunks this is not all the way out so there, there's actually quite a bit more room that'll go out another 12 inches or so there's a space for the CPAP in here Let's see. I bet there's not any storage under this bed no I think that's a water tank waiting on Yappy so I thought I'd just tour a few RVs got a big old compartment <laughs> man I can put my washer I can put my dryer in there for sure maybe my washing machine huge and easy to access the outside entertainment center it's not on a pivot I don't see a sound bar either you can get a portable sound bar I really like this big international front end the cap is is tighter than on the Wraith you see the Wraith has got a bigger it looks like a bigger bed well I guess it's the same size bed but it's a, it's got a seam whereas the ghost is a seamless cap like we have a seamless cap here and this is all one piece whereas this is fitted together interesting stuff let's go look at a different floor plan over here what is this one 37 DS that's a long one lots of space in that bunk this one ooh theater seats fireplace TV at an angle residential fridge kind of dark in here King Master and a second rest a, a rear bathroom with a washer dryer and then up here we just have a half bath like that bunk floor plan all right I really like the mid entry because that puts you in the middle of the awning. The TV's on the rear of this one. That never. I, I don't. Well, I don't use my <laughs> outside TV very much. When I'm camping, I'm typically not watching 
a lot of TV. Because I like that. I like the, the, the theater seats. It's a pretty spacious bunk. We don't put any any person in that bunk. We use that for gear. See, I wish I had that kind of latch on my refrigerator. Check that out. And then a queen size master. But there again, no place to put the CPAP machine. And water tank. The water tank under the bed. I like that the, the toilet's not up on a pedestal. A lot of these super C's ours did not even a super C. The toilet sits up on a on a ledge. And so you even me, my feet don't go. <laughs> it's really hard for Yappy because she got short legs. Super C's We're considering making that move. Two bumper. I hate I hate that because I'm I'm pretty tall and for me to get in there I gotta hunker down. And the 50 amp cable is fixed. I'd much prefer one that detached from the motor home. The wet bay. Yeah, that, that would take some getting used to on my part, because that's that's kind of having to really hunker down on that. That's an engine block heater. Much easier to get into than Miss V. I don't bump my head. Beautiful leather seats. Very comfortable too. Very comfortable. Oh yes, all power. They am all powerful. <laughs> so if you're a really, really tall guy, this seat will be, be great for you. All right, well hey, if you enjoyed our wandering around, checking out Super C's, please give me a thumbs up. If this is your first visit, please remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?